Hello and it's welcome to episode, episode 81 of Trusty Hogs. If you're a Taskmaster fan, what a double episode we have for you because last week it was Kyle and this week it's Ivo Bloody Graham. Turns out we're doubling down on the Taskmaster. When making a podcast in a shed, why not have the shed boys in? Through the fog, step forth the Trusty Hogs. Yeah, you're gonna give them your problems and they will solve them. Or maybe they won't And that's your problem They'll have guests And Andrew White on the tech Oh, it's Helen and Catherine As the trusty hogs Trust the trusty hogs Or maybe not You know that I think I'm going to be on Taskmaster next season? What? I've just got a really good feeling about oh. it <laughs> Because um, a guy came to Why can I have some money? Um Yes, of course. Yes, of course. Yes, of course. I'll give you some money. Of course. What do you need it for? I need to buy a home. A bar, okay. I don't think it's quite that much. Please, can I have a thousand pounds? I buy you Shady to stay on me and Sunil's patio. Okay, that's okay, nice. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. Um, I, um, so a man who I play Pokemon Helen. Go with online. Helen. He, yeah. You're wearing this country I got you for your birthday and it looks so yes, beautiful. Yes, thank you, Catherine. It actually looks beautiful. I wear it every day. Oh. <laughs> oh. Every day. I made it creepy now. It's going to be dirty. Dirty, isn't it real fast? Real Basically, fast. a man you play Pokemon a man go. I play Pokemon Go with online. And you're what age again? Thirty-two now, and he was probably fifties something. Fifteen, did you say? Fifties. Oh, worse. He came to a preview of mine, and he had the Taskmaster book, and he was like, "There's this thing I do where like comedians sign it, but I feel like it's got powers because May Martin they signed <gasps> it and then they were on the show. I want to sign it." And I was like, oh my God, because I said, oh, but I was like, oh, I think it's bad luck for me to sign a book that I've got nothing to do I with. I want right? to sign it. It's rude to sign, sign someone else's book. And then he was like, no, 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 100% go for it. So I signed it. And <gasps> then because of the powers, I mean, I've got to say there was about six names on the page and it was only me. <laughs> <laughs> but still but good they're, sign. they're blonde and and you're blonde there we go so i think guys all i'm saying is i guess it's happening i Sounds guess like it's... we're booked i'll be booked too right because it'd be weird to have you and not me totally do you feel like for comedians in the uk God, like it, people suffered for so long were being told that they should go on live at the apollo and as soon as we both did live at the apollo it's, it's immediately like in... no, you should do taskmaster, oh God, you and should it's like, taskmaster i've actually been on live at the apollo and they're like oh that's over yeah <laughs> So annoying. So annoying. Oh. It's so annoying. But either way, I've signed the book, so I guess it's happening for me now. I guess so. Take me with you. Take me with you, please. I don't think you can just go into. Do you reckon they'll ever do a Taskmaster with um doubles, like doubles? Doubles. Like we, there's so many good double acts that would be would amazing on that. it. We all, oh, <laughs> we would kill you. Would kill me. But that would be fun. <laughs> We're pitching it. Taskmaster doubles. Who would you want to go us, against? Us. Shelf. French and Saunders. French and Saunders would be great. Us. French and Saunders. Um, I love Egg. You know Emily Lloyd Saney and you, Anna Leung Brophy. They'd be so uh, good because they like yes. they are so in yes, sync with yes, each yes, other. Yes, yes, yes. And maybe like. Like mm. pin comedy would be great. Yeah, so funny. that'd be fun. Uh, I think of a lot of doubles. white people, isn't it? Goodness me, in the old mm. doubles. That's so true. Lot of whiteies. Well, Emily and Anna. Yeah, but we got to do better. Anybody We've got to do better. Better than one. Kyle. Kyle, Kyle and Edward yeah, Carter. Yeah. He's already done it though. But could you re-enter as a duo? I don't think that's what we want. We want to increase the chances Damn of us. Damn it. Okay, we'll figure this out. We'll figure this out. Mm. But either way, I think it's going to happen for me and then Margaret my career is going to be sorted. Not comedians, but they are cute. So good. I'd watch them do anything. My God, I'd watch that pair do anything. Do you oh, remember that beautiful. amazing, sorry to any international listeners, if you don't know who JLS are, they basically change the face of music, kind of arguably more than Prince. Um, and huh? JLS, so. they released their own line of condoms. Do you remember this incredible <laughs> summer? With Jurex, yes. Yeah. And they had had like and you could pick like do i want Which a marvin or an anton or like what's my vibe it was so good and was it based on the size of penises we were speculating they had i think they were all the same okay. size of car sure sure i don't, I don't like as the sure woman, they were all the same size of car i just have like standard condoms at home no i think if you have a very big penis you have to buy special oh i know there's different sizes but i do not personally cater for that at my house i hear what you're saying so like I hear what you're saying. Like, if I go to a guy's house and I want a feminine hygiene product, if they've got anything, then amazing. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I yeah. can thumb up a big boy 
and you know it'll, it'll but, hurt you on know, the way what out do you need to thumb off non-applicator tampons i hate them see i prefer them to the applicator one absolutely not why would i want to put my fingers in there i'm having the worst time of the year just to say really quickly we believe in moon cups and free bleeding thank you so much i now, don't know that i applicator I'm i believe in all of them um but i'm an applicator i don't want to touch anything gal can i ask I you about the you. applicator tampons then yeah do you ever get worried that like some skin is gonna get caught like a flap so like bear with me here how you have to miss your not missing fall. not missing not missing i rest what? wait a second look, look i rest the edge of the tampon in the applicator i've pulled the thing out the back and it's on the the precipice of the hole right are we listening yeah, yeah. i push it in at the bottom yeah and no, 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 coming... you don't push it in the bottom until you have it in you first yeah so it's in me yeah. so it's there and i'm pushing it in and up yeah and i am so nervous that in that little bit where the two bits of plastic or no. paper join no, that a bit of like labia menora majora How wide menora is, your menora? is gonna She's she's present. We've been over this like like, Mine like a jellyfishy. Mine doesn't really in the way, to be honest. So like, I'm nervous that I'm going to catch it, and I don't want to cut Who my little the labia. Way before you push it in. I don't want to cut my labia. Break the way before you push it. It's not going to. It's not you gonna push them out the way, it. but they. I mean, if I could, if I could push it. them out the way, then I wouldn't have to constantly be tucking. I hate you. This is good to discuss women's bodies, and I think there'll be other people that suffer the way that I do. So like. Basically, I find it easier to thumb up a non-applicator and then I do use my thumb because I'm scared if I use my index finger, which is longer, I'll go too far. Are you joking? <laughs> I'm not joking. You don't actually, you don't thumbs up your um, tampon. But when you're, when you're younger. You do not thumb up your tampon. You know, yeah, of course I do. No, you do. Of course I do. The fuck are you Why would I use my finger? How much I touch womb? Why would you use your thumb? Why would you use your thumb? Because right it's the right length. That is not the right length. Oh my God. It's the length for the bottom Everyone of the tampon. Everyone would use it. If you're Think about use it. I think you would use a middle finger, finger you're, but also why would you choose it <laughs> like that okay this is the top of the tampon that's my thumb it goes in there so if i push but it the up dignity of like have a great day like what i'm are not you saying talking? that out loud am it i feels like you i'm are. not gonna have a great day i'm on my period like, it's gonna be a job, miserable lad. day best to have a good one at school like why are you putting your thumb up what are you talking about because i i personally i Helen, personally have you, have you thought about the possibility that you could use uh, index or middle finger and not push them all the way into yourself no the the fear of the slip is too big slip yeah let's say i've got baby oil all over my body There's why so do many, you why do you i don't know i like the smell and i've just had a bath you've never moisturized when you didn't have to and you weren't in an airport before in your life that's actually that's that's fair that is totally i know it fair. is I want my. You're a rough skinned okay. woman and I don't buy it. I actually You're not just spent 20 minutes the other day oil. removing dry skin from my feet in the bathtub. So I don't think I'm rough skinned all over. And I shaved my legs for the first time in four months. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. I don't think you're covered in baby oil. There was a time. Also, you would never finish your whole body, even if you started to. How would I reach it all? How I'm would I get it? I'm just saying, I don't think you're covered in baby oil. If you had the you amount might have of done skin your surface area I did, you would not be paying for moisturising of the whole thing either. And listen, if we were together, I would do the baby oiling for you. But that's not the situation you're in. I would love it if you would genuinely baby oil my ass. I actually... What? Okay, my you, you finished the sentence before I... <laughs> and I'm glad you did, actually. What? Do you... Um, your ass, I do. You Why do you have to... It would be quite lovely, I think, to um, baby oil your bum. You would no way separate the cheeks. I think it'd be lovely. You would no way separate I my cheeks. I think it'd be lovely. Yeah. Be like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> so okay. Sad. Okay. I'll wax on, not off. I'll wax on. How about that? That'd be nice. <laughs> that actually sounds really good. Yeah, that'd be lovely. Do you moisturize after every bath and shower? Yeah. And shower. Mm -hmm. I don't know. So like Sunil found this like shower gel because he's too lazy to moisturize as well. That has like, it's like an oily shower gel. So it moisturizes in okay. the shower. Could I just do that? Yeah. I find it means your razors don't last as long. But hey, do you? Listen, I also love the process. Razors? I love the process <laughs> of it. I know what a razor is. I love the process of moisturizing afterwards. I always have. I always do it. My mom's always done it. She always does it straight after a shower. And I always think of it as like being an adult woman. It's so lovely. I don't know. That's talking. But I love... Is it? That's the adult woman's move as the ultimate talk. I don't think it is. But I do love rituals. Like, as you know, um, I didn't realise I had that many, but then 
Ellen and I started dating and she's like, what's going on? Because, um... One second, you didn't realise you had that many rituals? Not really, but I also didn't know that my body made loads of, no- like, clicking sounds. I'm a real, I, like... Oh, yeah, bony, clicky Catherine. Yeah. yeah, I'm very clicky. And so, um... That's how we call you on the comedy circuit. In the morning, I'm very, like, yeah, loud Yeah, 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 on. yeah. And, um, but, so, so she, apparently my nighttime routine is kind of more extensive than most people's. Yeah. Because I... What's your night? Spray the pillow, toner, cleanse, moisturize, sleep oil. No, is that you? I, but what's my nighttime routine? I'll tell you mine. Which, okay. okay. So mine is yes, cleanse, tone, moisturize, double cleanse if I'm taking makeup off, obviously. Okay, yeah, yeah. Then I will do maybe a little um roller. Oh damn it. I thought that was shaving. Then <laughs> just under the chin. No, 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 little, no, no, no. Okay. So like a lavender roller. Like, like a, a the the marble rollers thing on my face sometimes. Oh for an oil, the for jade an roller. Yeah, thank yeah, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then I'll yes, spray the pillow, of course. Um, but the thing she finds strange that I do, which I thought everyone did, I put on deodorant for bed. No. Okay, you're all taking your heads. Yeah, and you're like, going to bed with a livid. partner and I I don't want to be sweaty overnight. So yeah, I put on deodorant and then I put on um, one spray of perfume um, and I brush my hair and then I put a hair um, scented spray in my hair. <laughs> and then I put my hair up in its pineapple, it, like up at the top of my head because to keep the curls. And then um, I put on eye cream and then I put on cuticle oil and then I put on hand cream and sometimes I put on foot cream, but sometimes she puts it on for me and then I go to bed. Is this toxic femininity? <laughs> Have we found it? But that's not, that's, it takes all of 15 minutes and I absolutely love it. It unwinds me, it gets me ready for bed, it soothes me. I'm so frantic that like, just kind of doing my list at the end is like a nice, if I don't do it, I'm only mildly manic. I'm fine, I'm fine with it if I don't. What's yours? Similar. Yeah, I'd say (laughs) the same. I'd say a couple more steps, obviously, but I'd say similar. Um, No, I don't know. I guess, right, so if I've... Ellen gets a glass of water and um, brushes her teeth. Yeah, a glass of water. Those are, <laughs> that's her routine. I always have a, I always have a, like a, I usually get a bottle. Um, I don't know, let's, right, let's say a classic so, evening. Genuine, that's so her routine, coming her back routine from is my, brushing her teeth. Okay, well, like, I do, I try and remove my makeup, but obviously sometimes you just uh, can't be fucked. Helen. I know you're supposed to do it every night, but like it doesn't, Helen, it's not worth it. You don't even night. wear it every day. Why can't you take it off when you do? Because you just, sometimes you just forget and you're ready for bed. You know, I'm going to get you the chamomile makeup remover from... It's just no point though. No, but it's just so no quick. Point. It's I, uh, so quick. I have since I've been told so quick so many times. It's so quick just to go to the toilet when you wake up in the night and you need a wee. Doesn't mean I won't sit there yeah, in to agony be fair, for two I, hours I, fair, I do that. Like, yeah. There are things that just are more important. I guess I put on a murder podcast. Um, <gasps> oh, I listened to a fascinating podcast yesterday called You're Wrong About, which debunks things. You know it. I yes. bloody know it. Of course you do. So they have one on why uh, true crime is ruining our brains. And it's so good. I want to listen to that episode. No, it's really good. it's not really ruining good. my brain. If anything, I got smarter. Okay. To the point where I'm going to buy it if I go missing kit. So, so far you've got a murder podcast and not murder taking podcast. your makeup off. Are those um, routines? But I then, if I do, I take my makeup off, I wash my face and then put moisturizer on. And sometimes I do remember to put eye cream on before the moisturizer. Last night I was very good, actually. I put on a sleep oil moisturizer and eye cream but thing is i don't have to do anything with my face anymore because i figured out the secret to aging i watched it on a tick on a like instagram or facebook reel and you just take collagen and i now take collagen um there's an episode on i think of maintenance phase or you're wrong about it but how that's um not true I really don't like you today. Okay, sorry. I'm actually a bit defensive because I am overdue my Botox and everything's moving again and I don't like it. You know what you should do? Take a collagen tablet. No, I'm going to go back. I booked the doctor. But, okay, but, I, okay. but also I had to extend it because I said to Ellen I wouldn't have any before a birthday party because she doesn't like my Botox. So now it's kind of fun because I kind of um, I haven't told her that I'm getting it again. But it makes me feel like a heterosexual. You are so mad keeping yeah. secrets from your partner and not saying really them on a, a podcast. Not really a secret because she's going to know once I get it and then she'll be like, you can't frown anymore. So I don't accept that you're mad at me. And Where are you going to get it for, Heb, ah. again? Yeah. Yay. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I, I, I've got pillow spray. Yeah. But I only use it when I'm like really That's not a segue, up. but sure, yeah. I use it when I'm het up and stressed. I hear you. I love, a, I love a mist in the room. And then I also like to use like, 
I don't know. I, I try, basically the only thing that really makes me go to sleep is if I sit there and read first. Cuticle oil? But I'm still, okay, what's cuticle oil? Like that just, that that feels have, like a you beauty know, you don't, myth. You don't even need it because you actually have the most stunning nails and nail beds I've ever seen. <laughs> That's you, so, I am. Um, they grow so, are you <laughs> picked off my your, own gels no! with my teeth. Oh, <laughs> Helen. I was bored. And I ripped off all my gels on my teeth. Why have you done that? I was watching a very like not supposed to do that. good TV do show all, and I was binging teeth. it so I couldn't. Which I one? Had... Have you seen Fleischman's in Trouble? I've read the book. I haven't seen the show because Ellen's reading the book and then we can watch it together. Have you read the book? No, I didn't know it was a book. Ivo Graham. Ivo Graham, who's coming in today? Sent me the book during lockdown. Right, you know what? what? Let's talk to him about Let's it. Let's talk to Ivo Graham about it. Ready, Shall we have him on Please, now? Please, welcome to the podcast. I'm Ivo Graham. Graham. Oh, and tune into the Patreon, especially if you've sent us in a problem, because we're going to do a mailbag special. Hello, Ivo Graham. Oh, hello, Sean Ivo Graham. Hello, How you doing? Catherine. Hello, Helen. Oh my God, you're so TV. You have your um, retainer in. You oh. have kombucha on the table. You have a nice, like, I'm going to say vintage denim jacket. That's the triple. That's He's the TV on triple. Taskmaster. You made it. Nice. His, his teeth are getting newer and his clothes are getting older. <laughs> oh, he's, he's really made it. He's gagging for pilot season. <laughs> What is pilot season? I don't know. We don't it's know. Not, we don't know. That's an American. Well, people I like go it. to America for a month. They come back. They've been at lots of new Soho houses. They're not in anything, but they sold a script for 20 grand and their life has changed. And their teeth are shinier. Yeah. Wait, can you just go there for a month and sell a script for 20 grand and no, come I, back? I, I'm putting oh, all right. of this out of my, uh, out of my um, imagination. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Um, uh... But I, no, I, listen, and I don't really have aspirations in that, uh, to mine. I can't act. Um, and, and, I've, and I've got a lovely child in London. So you I'm do. really not swinging She's at the stage. Quite nice. I'd yeah. stick around. Yeah, and also, but let's not, you know, ignore the can't act either. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, we've but... done the stand-up sketch show together, Catherine. Oh, you were you, crazy. How, you see how wooden I was as myself. You were obviously, <laughs> you you were fantastic as my pregnant partner. Wait, <laughs> yeah. series one? Yeah, 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 yeah. Not series one. May I, two, no, no, two? series series one. Uh, my partner was played by Maisie Adam. <laughs> no way. It was too yep. played They're pregnant by Catherine Bohart. Scared. Could the audience tell? We don't know. No, I <laughs> looked fantastic pregnant. That's what I learned. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Provided the bump is um, organized by other women for me. Um, if, oh, I well, fair play, to, fair play to you. Hey, we love to see it. Hey, Ivo, how are you? I am. Uh, yeah, I'm very good. Thank you. But I, I am nervous to be here because... You're angry with me. I'm. You're a- Helen Helen's angry. angry. Well, Helen's you. always angry with me. And to be fair, I re- I've remembered the last thing you were angry with me about, and I've rectified that as well. That's in my bag. You brought the game. I brought the game. May well, I, I say her <laughs> anger is more justified today than I would usually credit it as being. Okay. Catherine's angry too. She just didn't mess. I'm it miffed. You're mm. angry. But that's the dynamic, isn't it? <laughs> sort of gr- grace and restraint from Ireland. Grace oh. and restraint from Ireland. What the, what the fuck am I? Um, well, I hey just, I'm, tr- I'm tr- British best. <laughs> Did you say beast? Yeah, best. Did you say beast? Breast is best Breast in Britain. <laughs> <laughs> Helen, God save the king Helen tell the listener why you're so furious with Ivo And why I'm less than impressed Okay I just think in 2023 It's fucking mental to me And so many other women uh, That two me. men no, 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 I'm God. gonna make it sexist God. Two men would come along Hear about a podcast called Trusty Hogs mm. And think you know what mm. Let's make a podcast and call it Gig Pigs mm. Catherine it gets worse than that mm. What other words around pigs are you trying to um, own? Uh, own we we legally own uh, the word swill. Excuse that's me? the uh, that's which is fine. We have a new swill. That's, that's, that's fine. Spotify playlist. Fine. Um, fine. And I do think that when we start recording episodes without guests, where we just watch a concert at home, we'll have to call them sty guys. I think <gasps> the gig pigs apps, the sty guys. Apps. Getting the sty is ours. I, I, I Getting the sty I'm with aware. us. Roll I'm telling about how many styes I have. She's a sty every other week. Yeah, she's I'm, filthy. She I'm will not, not take as, your makeup off. I'm not going to go as method as. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you've got to go yeah. very method. The conjunctivitis. You're not going to put your hands... <laughs> it's actually not conjunctivitis, it's an oil gland infection. And it's because she doesn't wash her hands after she wanks at night time. Oh, come on. After uh, the sleepy. few years we've had. Sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> you're clutching sleepy. your... Sleepy. <laughs> you're clutching your backpack. I'm clutching my... Like, I've got a few things to get out of it. This Olaf Yay. toy is unrelated. Oh! oh. oh. 
that would have been so good. Oh, that was... What no. a tease. Can no. someone make a gif of that moment of me <laughs> thinking it's an Olaf toy it to realise it? Well, it is an Olaf toy, but it's just not for you. Oh, uh, that's so I like warm hugs. Uh, he's in transit. Um, uh, pro um, probably getting gorgeously tanned in, in summer. summer. <laughs> oh, <laughs> What's happening? Samantha? song? No. I don't oh. even know a Samantha. He's, uh, he's, a, he's, the, he's the comic relief of Frozen. But is that from the second two. one? No, it's the first one, I believe. Oh. And second he, one is um, Samantha. And he sings a lovely song about how he can't wait to find out what, what happens in, in summer. Bless what Frozen it. things do in summer. That's when there's so... a good time to stay in cuddle, That'll... but put me in summer and I'll be a happy <laughs> snowman. <laughs> but it's fucking podcast, It's man. so good. Oh, <laughs> it's so... You know what? I'd love to come on gig pins if we can go to see what's Frozen. I've already seen it, oh, but I'd go again. Oh, Frozen Take us both. Frozen on ice. Does that count as a gig for gig pigs? Oh, it definitely counts as a gig for gig pigs. And it's a, listen, for the for the hog pig crossover app, <laughs> it would be lovely to be on ice. Wouldn't it be nice? Sliding about on Wouldn't our trotters. Wouldn't it be nice? Yes. I've actually already seen Disney on ice, but only the first 15 minutes. So I'll be willing to go again. Oh, no, got a sty. <laughs> I wish she I got, got a sty. Um, over enthusiastic participation of an audience member, it turns out. This is about five years ago. No, I'm joking. Um, I got given Rosie, well, actually, Rosie Jones got given free tickets. Oh, yes. Took me, but then the start time, I got it wrong, so I could only go for the first 15 minutes and left her <laughs> with two of the friends. Or something. But they gave us like free seats in this like amazing disabled space, so it was like on the front. And then I had to walk through the whole of the O2 <laughs> to get out and be like, I'm sorry, I've got to get to the Chuckle Factory in Bracknell. <laughs> <laughs> this care is walking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just, <laughs> You're the worst. You get yourself over a mirror, can't you? You're the worst. Okay, I'll have the Olaf doll, please. No, I'm not okay. to say that. That's of some sentiment. That was bought uh, um, to watch the Frozen musical oh, on, my, on my daughter's oh, fourth birthday. When she, when she, we went the day she became of legal age to watch it, minimum age four. Yes. They, they, don't, they don't check too much. Whoa, well, you've already they seen check. it. Okay, then let's not do that for gig pigs. I've do... already seen it too. I'll go again. Gig boys. Why don't you be gig boys? No, gig pigs is lovely. Giggle boys. A lot boys. of people have said they've really enjoyed the yeah, name. gig pigs. Is a have they? They have actually. Who said that? Name them. I want a list. Um, Handwritten. Very few. Let's people. hear it. The, it. Who said it? Friends in the industry, admittedly, have not been forthcoming because they know the the, the landmines that we're walking on. Um, I just think of every comedian to crazy, do anything that's crazy, even close to it. I would not do it because like most people would be like, oh no, it's so funny, it's fine. Like, don't do it to us. We'll fucking end you. You know that I genuinely believed five years ago that I started Yellow Jumpers. Like, I genuinely believe that no one was wearing a yellow jumper until I put one on. And I was like, well, here we fucking go. The whole fashion industry's copying me. And now Amazon I'm has made pathetic. yellow jackets. Like, that's not about her. There we go. I, I can't. I don't know the yellow jumper sort of thing, and I can't remember ever having seen you in one. So I'm not. I'm, so, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not relating so hard to that one. Somebody's spoken to his lawyer before the podcast. How about we believe her? <laughs> about something else to be. Believe fair. women, believe please. Believe women. <laughs> believe women. No, I'm doubling down. I'm afraid. I think. I think there are a lot of female liars really hiding behind this believe women thing. Um, Ivo, can I find out what else is in Le Sac Magique? Yes, Le Sac Magique um, contains not just my kombucha, uh, but I uh, knew that wasn't kombucha. So that's a bottle of water, you moron. Um, oh, I, uh, uh, as a, a token of my apology from um, me and Alex Keeley, my hi my, Alex my, Keeley, my, my best friend and partner in gig pigging. I love um, Alex. Oh, the other pig. Some lovely vegan pork products. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So I've brought you some <laughs> pimento spiced very verizo good, cube. Very oh good. Some vegan salami pig. slices. Oh my. And of course the big one, I'll have the those. tofu wiener. I want those, please. The tofu I want the tofu Soy wiener. sausages. Enjoy them warm or simply cold. <laughs> exclamation mark. <laughs> I can't remember. I'm afraid, despite I would say uh, uh, being a good friend of you both. I mean, we ate we ate meat. You've in, seen in the me eat meat. Ivo yeah. brought me but sex toys. Catherine sex is veggie. Toys. We're sex all trying toys. to do better. Aren't Ivo we? brought me sex yeah. toys. And this is this boys. is doing better. Look at this stuff. Some wheaty seitan salami. <laughs> And then I thought three, I don't know, you know. Doesn't I, this look like four long, creepy fingers? Yeah, well, it's, that one's absolutely horrible to look at. But um, I, I bet they'll be nice. I love yes. a wiener. I, I love this. I'm Thank you so much. I'm pimento spiced ver, uh, Well, if you're Verizon. intrigued by them, I'm, I re I'm absolutely no, he's gagging not, he's not to get take some. take one of these oh. gifts home. I could, but uh, are you sure I couldn't send these behind the perspex? Oh, yes. Um, Would you like some pimento cubes? 
Yay! Yay! The least you can do is give something to all. How easily do perfect shatter? No, no, don't, don't, I, don't. no. Okay, I'll, I'll give it to you afterwards. Um, thank you. Thank you so okay. much for my vegan salami slices. It really is the white flag of um, pork products, the vegan option. This is great. Uh, we accept your apology. Listen, I am uh, made I'm... in Germany. Of course, and that was that was very much. Sure. <laughs> Pimenton spiced varieties. Okay, this would be too hot for me. I would sweat my face off. I'm looking forward to hearing the reports on these. Oh, you'll be hearing from me. <laughs> Please, you will be hearing from me. Holy so shit! This, you know what? Give me horse. <laughs> like... Why the amount of ingredients, or what's the problem? <laughs> I just don't. I don't think I get it. I think like... it could potentially be a bit bleak. But I, um, listen, while of course um, we're all doing our best, but we are weak, and we will sometimes eat pork in a restaurant for Sorry. late at night. I think turning I don't up do with that. a big bag of pork, I think, would have been quite um, I don't not, not a good look. I don't eat meat, so I'm glad you didn't. No, no, well, exactly. Wow. I would have kind of loved a big it bag if I just <laughs> like showed up. <laughs> and you're like, right, we're fighting for the right to have pig or hog in your title. <laughs> we're Lord of the Flies and uh, M lock the doors, let's see what happens. <laughs> and Keely just comes in with spikes. <laughs> just in under the door as it closes. He's like, that's that would amazing. Be incredible. But genuinely, wow. I do want to know about gig pigs. So you go with your guests to a concert. Yes. Each week. It's a lot more effort than just coming to some fucking box in Paris. It is. It is Your so much more effort. Your outlay must be insane. Uh, our outlay. Oh, yeah. Uh, Wait, you what's know, con- outlay? Congrats on all They're your Patreon expensive. subscribers. We're still very much in the um, in the, in the the loss end of the sky. I say so. <laughs> <laughs> but your losses, are, are the bar is going to be so high. Uh, what do you mean? I mean, if you're taking people to nice gigs. Yeah. I mean, I didn't love the thought of taking you both to, to, to Disney on ice. Um, Whoa. Are you sure there's not some sort of a... Uh, listen, that's Whoa. Funny. That was... Charmless from me. Does it count as a gig to go to the Pig Experience in Surrey? No, I don't think so. Damn. That's a spe- what's as in specifically going to see some pigs. Mm-hmm. That's a- in Brecon. It- you can go on a picnic, okay. <gasps> which is where you Ew. feed these pigs. They're like the loyalist. I'm going to say brand of pig, but it's probably a breed. The there we go. It's brand. hard with products and animal. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> um, the loyalist brand. The loyalist breed of pig. And you give them little treats and they come on a walk with you, then you all have a picnic together. That's really nice. We're going to Brecon then? What well, we are. I'd love <laughs> I don't that. know I'd what love you're to. doing. <laughs> I'd love to. That. Yeah, no, we can't Brecon. afford that because of the Patreon. Have you done any um, sort of pi- uh, pig based yeah. sort of outings or photos? Yeah, yeah. yeah but we oh, should. You know, you've, you've we oinked. The... I've seen you <laughs> oinking on Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but, uh... <laughs> <laughs> you want to have a go? No. Come on, piggy boy. You want the title? Then let's hear the (laughs) oink. Come on. Come on. No, I've not come here to oink for my podcast. Too posh to oink. Too posh to oink. Yeah, yeah. Too posh to oink. (laughs) I'll fuck it, but I won't impersonate it. (laughs) I'll tell you what we have done. Bit of a dated. Bit of a dated dog. I like it. I liked it a lot. Piggy things we've done. We went to the zoo all together and we did look at the pig there. Hmm. Um, That would probably be it as far as... But then we've eaten a lot of Percy pigs. We should do a pig experience. I think we should do a, a pig, pig experience. Pig Nick sends right up my spot. But it feels like we save money if we went with the gig pig boys. Yeah, because they could We pay. do treat our guests um, and, uh, and then we meet up with them uh, at a later date. So it's a, it is a lot of admin. Um, <sighs> well, to talk about the gig. To talk about the gig. Sometimes, Back- uh, gig yeah. A gig sometimes, which has been several weeks and you just can't. If you guys want to know more <laughs> about the pig Nick experience, my sister's trying to get me to book it at the moment. I've always plugging his podcast, which it. admittedly no, is... No, that's, that's here. Marianne, I'm doing a podcast. Get another I, I'm on a podcast. <laughs> Nintendo movie together. Oh no, I'm not going to the Nintendo movie. I'm going to hang up. Okay, bye. <laughs> oh, I'm such a bad sister. <laughs> I thought it was going to be at the pig experience. I mean, Can you go to the Nintendo movie with me. You are yeah. also a bad podcast host. So it's no, okay. Um, you didn't even say I'm doing the podcast or Hogs or whatever. You said I'm doing a podcast. Do you think my sister listens to Hogs? No, but she must. Know. She's a big gig pig fan. I'll tell you that for nothing. <laughs> yeah, it's, Traitor. It's a proper dedicated music podcast, not just some fucking chat. Whoa! <laughs> you come to our house. We've taken a hobby. You come to our I house. Come to your shed, and I burn it down. <laughs> That's a good point, actually. It's wow, bad, Catherine. It's a really well wow. equipped and lovely shed. It's our last time here. We have um, rented our own studio. Wow. We are setting it up as we speak. Um, genuinely, I'm, I'm just making whatever cheap shots I can. I think this is really nice, and I've enjoyed well, strolling through Southeast London in the sunshine via a vegan supermarket. You wounded my heart. I, your heart always heals pretty quick. <laughs> <laughs> Tears <laughs> don't get more crocodile. Than <laughs> I've never fake cried in my life. Yes, you have. You've never, no, you've never fake 
orgasms you have fake cried that's true i refuse to for equal pay right <laughs> you to a fit to, to to fake orgasm um what pig things are you thinking of doing with keely i want to see if we can like spread this out because if we're doing pig nicking mm. uh i mean we haven't really thought about it other than you know there are there are a few bands with pigs in the title and we think well that'll obviously Ooh, be, talk uh, to us who um there's a band called pigs 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 um, <laughs> a little on the nose right. yeah, yeah, yeah. a little on the nose they must be furious about us about <laughs> 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 I don't think everyone is seeing the world filtered through sort of trusty hog envy. No, I imagine they, they are. are. I think they are. I think they are. I think they're probably annoying. I think pigs, 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 pigs were, um, I think they were, I think they were going pre trusty hogs. Yeah. So they're they looking at us. So why in 2017 were there so many mustard jumpers then? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? People are watching and listening. <laughs> 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 I'm a bad person. No, you're dead on. Yeah, must, um, mustard goes okay. very nicely with a bit of uh, pig, pig, real pig, pig, pig. We're going to go see Pygmalion when it next comes to the West End. Oh, that's very good. Thank what you. What else have you got? Um, pigs, 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 and uh, there's a um, oh, I don't actually know the genre. There's someone called Big Pig. Um, pig. So obviously the, the the gig pig, big pig episode, or indeed the gig, 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 if, if, everyone who's come, and I'm sure it's the same here, including Phil Wang, who's he, he I think he's the first person to drop on the gig pigs, the hogs double. Oh, <gasps> whoa! Anyway, he, um, That's a, that is a legendary double. That's like doing off menu and Joe Rogan <laughs> in the same day. Which do one you know do you I mean? think we are? <laughs> yeah, me too, me too, me too, me too. Bigger listenership. What can I say? What can I say? Very long episode. <laughs> Very long. <laughs> 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 Sorry. Look, wow. I think let's just divide it up. You can do anything it, musical Rogan based. About how he invented the yellow jump. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's always talking about how he invented the podcast, basically. Yes, so, yes, yes. should we just all commit now to like? Letting it go because I feel like you're very steamed up about this. How like? Oh, that's. I feel up. like I you're really angry. No, you, did you say fucking Frankfurt? Whoa, whoa! I don't know how you speak on your where? podcast, whoa. but where? Well, you're in a ladies' room, and if you can't be a lady, you will not be allowed in the ladies' room again. Who's been the least ladylike person in the ladies' room of this? Oh podcast? my god, we've had some absolute beasts. Mm. Um, who's been the least ladylike? Chloe Petz never makes me think, oh, <laughs> lady. Um, Alice Bittle can be quite repulsive. Oh, Alice Bittle vomited at one point. But you were being disgusting. Um, I nearly pissed my. I did piss myself a bit. Um, um, I guess it's always Helen, but then second to Helen. No, we've had some real mantas. <laughs> Who was gross? Who was gross? Oh, who's been like a minger that I could like list recently? Sunil's always a bit like a bit gross. We're gonna have him back on soon, but Bella kept there. trying to tell that poo story. Great stuff. Love a bit of Bella Hull. Mm. Yeah, I can't really remember. Why? Who's the most minging one you've had on? Ours has been pretty clean so far, but it, we did we most recently saving on admin and just turning up the the sort of the thrill of it all. We did a podcast up with Lou Sanders after the gig. So it was <sighs> like one a.m. Whoa! Um, and actually, you know, Lou is a slick professional yeah and sober days. and and sober so you could um, do that kind of thing so it wasn't uh oh yeah you know, we, we we drove home after the gig it was Whoa. all very reasonable on friday night but nonetheless Super sweet it's got a little whiff of like when you're doing one when you're podcasting at one yeah stuff's coming something's gone a bit yeah. dodge yeah and also you can be a little bit ruder we can do this at 11 a.m truly we can Helen can talk about the colour of her labia at 11 a.m. But the problem is, if we do it at 11 a.m., we're about an hour out from Big Toilet. So, like, everything. Like, oh, my God. <laughs> I'd say, like, it's all pretty fresh for me at that point. <laughs> Big Toilet always at 10. Big Toilet's around 10, I'd yeah. say. Yeah. She doesn't like if you call her then. Right. She'll hang up on you. Yeah, I will answer, but then hang up. It's happening. Yeah. <laughs> and then she hangs up. Oh, it's happening! <laughs> <laughs> right. You and Keely have the same thing? No. No? no. Not the same dynamic? Uh, well, what time do you, Big Toilet? I couldn't tell you when I like Big Toilet. Really? But you're a runner. No, we're pretty. Yeah, but I'm I'm all over the place in that in that, in that regard. Really? I you thought run, since Paula, everyone tries Sorry. to do it in don't the morning. Run the morning necessarily. No, I don't have any systems really. So, hey, Ivo, you've made it to the you've made it to the other side of it, the podcast. No, to the. No. 
the happy place, the safe, the 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 land of gold for comedians. You're doing bloody Taskmaster. Oh, I thought you were going to say our problem solving. What's it like out there, man? What's it like over the other side of the hill? Is it nice? Um. Oh, it's as full of regret as it was on the previous side no! of the hill. But no! but, they're, but they're obviously they're the, they're the regrets that you know we'd all like to have and that I was you yeah. know, very was it envious fun? of. Yeah. Was um, it scary? Yeah. Was uh, it exposing? Y- yeah. You're you're hitting all the key beats here. Was it I crumble under pressure and surprising? I was put under pressure over and over again. Oh, interesting. I think the thing I would struggle with is as much as the pressure is the willingness and um, sort of robustness character wise of being embarrassed that often. Because mm. I think that people think that comedians are good at being embarrassed. That's not always true. And I would fall into the category of um, good at laughing at other people, but not necessarily myself. I do endeavor to, but embarrassment is the point at which I kind of crumble a little bit. It's like an uncomfortable place to be. Yeah. Well, I think we've... I think I think that ship has sailed, and I think that ship right. had sailed for me quite a long time before <laughs> right. Taskmaster. Right. And I and I think we're now in the sort of like there used to be. I think I guess the idea that you you you'd, you'd create you'd curate a very specific side of your personality for your little bits of exposure, like your stand up and maybe yeah. your book. And but basically, you could still keep that pretty two dimensional, yeah, or yes. fake fake three dimensional, but really it's two dimensional. Yes. And then you're living your life. Whereas as soon as you've got a podcast now. You know, it, it like it, you're, you're, right. you're already living it. And so I feel like things about me like being right. sort of for like, you know, disorganized or like, you know, late. Unfortunately, much as I might still be trying to fix them in my in my life, they're now they've gone beyond my friends to like, you know, I remember being late to a gig in Bristol and someone sort of tweeted saying, sat waiting for the latest man in comedy, Ivo Graham. And I was like, <laughs> I I've never described myself as that, but I guess it's just been a sort of feature of enough anecdotes in an, across enough. Oh yeah. my, and wow, the phone's, his on. phone's on. And his phone's and on. His oh, phone's oh on. my phone wants me to wow. be real. Is that such a crime? Oh my God, let's be real. It's time to be real, um, baby. We're ready. Let's be real. I've never, um, I've never been real. Let's be as real. In I've, 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 as in I've never done it. Let's be real. This could be your first one. Okay. We are your first one. If anyone follows Ivor on Be Real, prepare for a real spoiler. Here we go. His maiden voyage. I don't even know how to open this damn app. Here we go. You have you, do, have you, do you be real? I don't, but I've been in other people's no, we've been Be Real. So you, you gotta, you're going to be in both sides. Take one of us yeah. and take one of you with us. It's perfect. I mean, listen, it's taken look, out of you already. let's have a look at me there. It's a pretty schnoz uh, send, centric. Yes. Send, send. It's perfect. <laughs> it's perfect, Ivo. Your first ever be real. Yeah, it'd be great. I mean, I'm not a vain man, but it'd be great to just, I thought I was going to get another go at me. Let's try one more time. <laughs> Here we go. So I hold on my vegan salami slices. Yeah, yeah me too. I just put hogs. Nice. Really? You want to put pigs? A barbecue, I'd have said. Feast. I'm missing sausage salad. Sausage party. Sausage, sausage party! party! That's the crossover app. You know what I'm a saying? A sausage party. Although that is already a cartoon. Don't worry about it. It's horrible, isn't it? They're, um, they're Damn in the, it. They're in the uh, supermarket, but they don't know their fate or something. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Is Seth Rogen, maybe? Yeah. Is that what the oh. film's premise is? Yeah. 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 It's a, it's a it's real tough stuff. sort of uh, 3 a.m. sort yeah. of joint going round. <laughs> yeah. Chicken run for the high adult in your life. That's weird that you watch that then. I watch very different stuff. Uh, uh, all Quiet on the Western Front, 3 a.m. Um, I'll just watch anything. Uh, Reservoir Dogs. What? Um, the pianist, 3 a.m. Yeah. I like to take I in stuff. I don't like the pianist. I'd also like to say Seth Rogen and uh, his, his, his regular collaborators. It's Judd Apatow. Um, it's quite a famously sort of marijuana infused operation. Oh. I sort of meant, I meant like 3 a.m. That's, that's, they're having that idea. When oh. they're like stoned at three AM, they're like, "Oh, I thought you meant it was like a watch at three AM no, thing." I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't, yeah, I wasn't trying to be like. It's I'm reading Plato's Cave. Like, you know, uh, <laughs> that um, makes a lot yeah, more sorry, sense. Sorry, I wasn't trying to endorse um, stone cinema, although some of the Seth Rogen stuff is v good. Vegan. Yeah, vegan. Favorite Seth Rogen film? Uh, it's an obvious one, but super bad for me. Lovely choice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, knocked up. Really. I like Knocked Up. Yeah, there we go. very good. I would agree. Um, I like the one where he has... What's the one? I'm so old. You know oh, the one? I would, Here we go again. Look, I'd say super bad, but if I weren't to say super I bad... I love watching Catherine trying to remember something. I'd say the romance between him and Charlize Theron in that one. Monster. I- <laughs> not monster what Catherine Heigl no 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 that's knocked up that's not oh, what are we talking about Charlize and Seth fall in love but she's like a diplomat don't um, worry about it 
We don't I, have to worry about any of this. I worry. It's been a, I think it, it's been a series of, uh, of, of, of weird left turns from the moment my key <laughs> reel went off. Did you expect it to be segues? Can I tell you my favourite no, Seth I, Rogen thing now? Not film, thing. Of course. Um, have we all seen the comeback with Lisa Kudrow? Season yes. two, no. when they're making Seeing Red? Incredible. Is, is he in that? Yes, and no. he is phenomenal in it. Are we ready for a... <gasps> yes, I'm ready for a problem. But before we do, how's your hot brother? My brother is hot. He's a good guy. These, these, are, these are his old ends. <laughs> so hot. I, uh, I, I he used to live in. He used to live around here. Have you ever I seen was... Ivo's hot brother? No. He's Ivo, but hot. It's crazy. Ivo's beautiful too. Yeah, but I'm you... okay. But I'm just. A That's girl what you think. You think brother. he's hot. Oh really? And then you is see it his one brother of those? And you're like, whoa, hot Ivo. It's crazy. Good for him, eh? Yeah. Catherine, it's the advertising my brother didn't ask for, but I don't think he'll be complaining. <laughs> <laughs> and we're running the London Marathon together at the end of April. <gasps> So if you if will you, he be if you fans, trouble? he probably will at the end, Woo-hoo! but only only for donors. Wait, let's yeah. get charity details. Yeah, tell us. Who are you running for? The MS Society. Awesome. Oh, come on, that's a good one. Donate that's to the a MS Society. Good one. It's not what which charity would you have laughed out of town? Laughed out of town. Name oh, charity. here we go. Like, a gig pin. Um, money for us to go to a concert. How dare you? <laughs> that's family money. Um. Yeah. No, I think um that's great. And where can people sponsor you? Um, we've got uh, a, a Just Giving page which features the whole family, including my brother, wearing very tight fitting orange singlet. <laughs> Don't mind what if we do. Wait, your hot sister's wearing one too? He's wearing one Something too. Something for everybody. <laughs> well, hey. no, What's it called? Don't... Just Giving forward slash? Uh, Graham's, I believe. But I mean, listen, I didn't mean to make it about that. We, we, we jumping around. Hey, Ivo, I spoke for months on this podcast about a half marathon I did. Get your hot brother on two people's pages. It's when it's A&E. It's his debut marathon. He's very excited. But he's... You've done one before? I've done one before. Time? I'm a season pro. Three and a quarter hours. Holy shit, balls. He's fast. fast. He's fast. And my brother's faster. Hotter, younger, faster. Whoa. Adopted. And child free. And Sexy. child free. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a fantastic long term partner, Master. but he's not on Taskmaster. Thank you. Yeah, there you go. Oh, or on Trusty Hogs. Um, Helen, before we get into the list of problems, I have brought some top trumps, but I haven't brought what? Uh, I haven't brought Harry Potter. So when uh, Helen Good. and I did a um, uh, gig together in the Alps in January of all mm-hmm. places, I, I did not thrive. Harry Potter. Oh, we all thrived on the slopes, and we sort of thrived at the gig as well. I really think you. How was she on the slopes, Ivo? Uh, we, I didn't encounter you on the slopes. Yeah, yeah I wasn't on the slopes. Yeah, you were in the spa. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> What did you bring me? Uh, so th- that on that trip, I had Harry Potter top trumps and Helen uh, really got enthused about the backstage and said, bring her next time I see you. We gigged, stop looking under okay. my legs. <laughs> <laughs> we gigged in Marylebone a month later and I didn't have my top trumps. No, and, and it really them. upset it me. Upset I was no, just there fresh, they come again. I was, the fresh off, <laughs> I was fresh off a plane. And I was very tired and I thought, it's good. I'm gigging with Ivo Graham and, and Phil Wang tonight. What a lovely duo. This will be very nice. And Ivo will bring a gamey for me to play backstage. And Ivo went, I didn't bring it, you stupid bitch. And then walked away. That sounds like him, all right. Awful. No other chance. What did you bring me today? I brought you um, The Simpsons and I brought um, and I brought Baby Animals. Oh, Yay, yeah, Baby Animals. You love animals, The Simpsons, I don't know. Baby Animals, animals. animals ranked by Independence. Um, months in mummy's tummy, weight at birth, mischief and cuteness. Oh, <laughs> that's adorable. It's pretty sweet, isn't Can it? Can I just have a little look at some of them, please? Yeah, well, I'll just give you half Catherine, the back. we'll do a problem. Oh my God, thank you. We will yeah. do a problem, but first you guys play a quick game of t- whatever you do. Go, you go first. Uh, okay, I'll go with... Um, uh, oh, sorry, I've given you the instructions. Uh, oh, I think I've got quite a bad card. I've never played this set before. Independence, seven. Damn it! My fledgling owl beat her ostrich, ostrich chick. chick. I ate ostrich the other day. Never mind. Go on, go on. Uh, uh, um, oh, weight at birth. Hit me. It's a 30 kilogram calf. Stop it. Whoa. How's my little lion? Two kilograms. Tiny What? Lion. Okay, go on. Weight at Get birth me again. Head. I fucking dare you. No, I'm not going to. Well, don't give it away. Okay, I'll go for mischief. 30. You don't get 19, more mischievous but than a border collie a puppy. R- <laughs> oh, I got a rhino calf, 70 kilograms at birth. But not Whoa. mischievous. There's going to no. be a lot of top trumps in my Edinburgh show this year. I can <laughs> tell. Have you seen the royal pack yet? Um, uh, I've got the royal pack. Okay, the, so the, do the, I. The platinum jubilee one. Absolutely dreadful. And it's insult to her memory. And the fact that... <laughs> 
and they have like the Who's weddings of everyone and like Harry and Meghan and it's like they Harry rate Meghan it by cultural really highly significance on, un, on uniting the nation <laughs> well, united the nation and like Harry and Meghan school like really high it's like listen I, I, I feel very sorry for Harry and Meghan in lots of ways but I, they do yeah, not but, but you, you cannot say they've united the nation <laughs> <laughs> it's an absolute <laughs> mystery the pack it goes from actual people like his royal highness Prince William to uh, uh, the platinum jubilee yeah yeah you're, <laughs> you're, you're trying to you're trying to beat Balmoral with the corgis. Okay, um, let's do two more, two more. Let's go until you win one. Um, Independence, eight. Ten. There we go. My baby chicken is My doing everything form. from the minute. Bambi oh. could do fuck or they fall over, you know that. Yeah. yeah okay, I think I might Very have the winning cute. card. Whoa. Okay, let's play one more go. <sighs> Category is? Category is? Podcast names. That's not bad, actually. What would you... Oh, Let's do, let's just rustle. You're missing the point entirely. If we were Who has the one that is closest to the name of our podcasts? You got a piglet? I got oh, a yes! piglet! Yes! I win! Yes! Absolutely amazing. Mummy's tummy, four months. Weight at birth, 1.4 kilograms. Independence, nine. Mischief, 10. Cuteness, four. What? Only four? Only four. <laughs> I'm only four. We've got catchphrases, bitch. Right? What have you got? You've just got a stupid kitten. We've got catchphrases like, um, what was your favourite song at the gig? What um, <laughs> what, what song do you wish they played at the gig? Okay, well, there's something to work on there. <laughs> <laughs> pretty, it's a pretty fun podcast if you like the specific practicalities of going to music gigs. If you were doing a um, podcast Top Trump set, mm. what would be the five uh, rankings? Year started, so you just... Oh, the, the that's good. It's a classic. Year started, number of hosts. Number of hosts, okay. Um, number, number of apps, maybe? Number of Patreons? That's a not, year not all so them changeable, Patreon. so changeable is the thing. Um, I'd have said... This is such an interesting one, because it's like, how do we sort of like... What's... Sig like, hmm. Merch? Items of merch? Items of merch. Have you got merch? We've got merch, bitch. Um, items of merch. Laughs per app, hardly a thing you can measure. No, but I think you should do like, um, like you know when like hosts fall out and they get in like new co-hosts. Yeah. Like replacement co-hosts. You're gonna name an example of that? I would rather not. <laughs> Pro or anti-vax? Um, yes. <laughs> he has like a. What level of conspiracy theory are they at? That's it, flat earth or no. Yeah, and we can call yeah. it flat earth or no. I love these theories. <laughs> Helen was insistent in Montreux that... Uh, um, that uh, it's called I was Montreal. Montreux. Uh, Montreux. No, I'd love to have gone to Montreal. Um, but I also was very happy to go to Montreux. I was One not. Do the double. <laughs> you were happy. You were happy. You were just expressing happiness by ranting about the fact that me and lots of my other um, white male Oxbridge educated friends were in a category of comedian called... Uh, war boys. War boys. What? Oh, yeah, you did explain yeah. this. You, you, well, you said you can put all comedians into like four categories. Yeah, and I can. War boys. War boys? I'm big thicko. Chaos slut, war boy, big thicko, and then edge lord. What am I? Chaos slut. Oh yeah, that checks out. <laughs> First of the nation takes you to chaos slut. There's no head girl category? Yeah, I think head girl is. Who's in head girl, girl category? Me and Chloe Pets. See, I say Chloe's a big thicko. Mm mm. Uh uh, because if you go on head stage and you go and the audience go, oh, I guess, head then you're a big girl thicker. energy, head girl energy. Yeah. War boys are my favourite category because everyone in their audience who buys tickets to them has two Hitler biographies at home without No, <laughs> I think her, I think um, Bro and Con. Josie Long, I think me, I think um, these are head girls. I think Kiri Pritchard McLean, head girl energy. Okay, I'd say could be Chaos Slut. Mm. Pasco's a head girl. Okay, maybe Pasco's there is another the head category. Girl, yes. Damn We're it. We're talking women who like wear cardigans but patronize you in a way that makes you think they would be good in bed. Kerry wears like amazing sequin corset. And sexy. And funny, obviously. Funny. Yeah, yeah and obviously. And like, and, funny, not, funny. and they're not good in bed? And then funny. Well, oh, no. Uh, it was just, it was just like that's the impression they're giving off. I vote. Why do you make me sound like a sexist? I don't know. But Lou Sanders is like the queen of the chaos slut. Oh yeah, 100%. And Olga's in chaos slut. Olga's a chaos slut, yeah. Sophie Duger's in chaos slut, but 100%. also the a head girl. Confusing. Okay, you know what? I do need to look at this again, I think. I, I need think to sit down with Chelsea you, back. Yeah, I'm just down on paper. Yeah. yeah you are still a war boy and that's not going to change. I fear I'm trapped with my biography. I love watching Ivo do comedy, not only because he's very good at it, but also because he's the only other comic who speaks as fast as I do on stage. Um, that's very kind of you to say, um, Catherine, although you didn't love 
watching me do comedy enough not to go and get in your taxi to the 99 Club when we did a gig together recently. <laughs> I actually ended up watching you do your set because my no, taxi didn't. didn't arrive and I really enjoyed how you mocked the CEO of the company who was paying yes. us for our gig. Oh. <laughs> I was desperate for Catherine to see me bite you the hand at feet. You were so good. I was, I was, I was so, so pathetically man, excited. Oh, you were brilliant. This man got up and somehow I had the foresight to write down clearly what he said. Which is that he get, gets up and is like, I once um, on a fateful day in December 2017 did a comedy course and concluded in a pub where my wife was, blah, blah, blah. Very sweet story. I will tell the whole beats. story as if he's the CEO, except his fateful day, he was trying to be an account. What are they? Lawyers? Mm, Finan- lawyers yeah, pretty good he's law. very Turned nice. Head, very nice. Very good. Very good. I stuff. love callbacks. I often use them as a substitute for original material. Me too. And it was <laughs> excellent. And they didn't even notice. Thanks very much. Really good stuff. Really good stuff. Um, um, are you ready to solve a problem? Why have we brought a dad on here if you're not going to help some youngsters? Come on then. Father Come on then. Good fatherly sentiment. Come on then. Um, I'm ready to listen and solve. Great. That's one of our catchphrases. I moved to London seven months ago for a new job and I can't say enough how much your podcast has helped me in staying positive. I moved to London a few months ago so that I might get to go to a gig with Ivor Graham and Alex. <laughs> <laughs> heavily implied. <laughs> Um, I, 24-year-old female, have recently come out of a three-year long-distance relationship, which ended amicably but was very heartbreaking as we slowly realised over the last few months that it was no longer working for us. Meh. Uh, I know no one in the city, but I know that it takes a long time for the dust to settle when starting over and to find true friends where you are. So instead of putting pressure on building a support network, I've thrown myself into trying many different groups and hobbies like ping pong rounders, board games, book clubs, etc. Such um, a weird eclectic mix that I respect you for so much. Yeah. I do enjoy going out to the many events London has to offer and most people I meet are lovely, but on a couple of occasions I've been approached by creepy men and I've had who I've had difficulty shaking off. Uh. And since the breakup, I've completely lost my energy to go out and feel quite sad and isolated from friends and family who all live far away. Uh, I'd be so grateful for any advice on this breakup process and how to get back on my feet to go out again uh, and find the energy to meet new people. Also, any tips on how to deal with creepy men when you're going out alone? Thank you. Yeah, the creepy men one, um, I think I said it before, I said again, there's a scene of Miss Congeniality where she teaches how to physically disable them by kicking them in their groin and she describes the different movements in incredibly accurate detail and it is always worth watching that before going on a night out. And I'm, I'm sick of saying it. <laughs> who is the person who said that you should just bark at them? Once you start barking, men really back off. Self-esteem. Who we yeah. uh, went to watch for a recent episode of Gig Pigs. <laughs> yes. uh, yeah, there's a, there's a bit a bit in one of her songs about, um, you know, nothing barking. more scary than women appearing completely deranged. And later in the song, everyone barks. And the Apollo full of people barking. It was a hell of a thing. That's amazing. Yeah. 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 Bark. I should have gone bark. to that concert. That sounds amazing. Bark. I was wearing a... Um, it's, it's literally just lifting lift an anecdote from gig things straight into trusty hogs. I, I thought I was wearing a plain white T-shirt wow. and I took off my jacket because it was hot and I was wearing a T-shirt, a bit of stash from a stag do that I'd gone on a few months ago. <laughs> Phenomenal. Like, I'm here at this like wonderful, empowering, like sort of, uh, sort of, you know, um, female centric female centric gig, gig listening to this song about like you know um, barking at toxic men and I'm like and my t-shirt says hooligans 2022 <laughs> oh my god <laughs> that's so funny um, okay wait a second so creepy, I, sympathize, creepy... I sympathize with this um, with this problem it's a multi which part Ivo well uh, the, the breakup the new city the lack of energy the probably a bit of post post pandemic stuff there yeah, as yeah. Well. trying to find your buddies and then you go out and you like you don't have much energy but you find the energy to go out and then someone's creepy to you like it's all like it's all fucking frustrating thoughts lads what do we think like number one I think it's amazing that you are going out and trying all these different things I think when you're sad and your energy's low after a breakup like it's so hard to motivate yourself to do anything particularly things by yourself and I think it's fucking amazing that you're doing it creepy guys I just think it's just part of it isn't it like take it as a bloody compliment no okay <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> oh my fucking God. I don't think what my dad would say. Um, um, don't be a stuck up frigid whore, Helen. <laughs> Smile. <laughs> and that's verbatim. Um, shout out to dad. Can't wait for the weekend. Well, let's, uh, let's break it into two problems. Let's break it first into how to get the energy up to do things and how to like snap out of the breakup stuff. I would say trying Red to, Bull. in my opinion, trying to return to your life as it were before doesn't usually help you. Like, why can't I do the things that I used to be able to do? I would say try an activity that you haven't done already might be good for your brain to like disconnect it from trying to get back to somewhere before um and so i would say also stuff that like if you have to do alone 
do stuff that it's better to do alone like go swimming in like a lido or ponds where if you brought someone you would hate that like it's like i just want to swim alone do creepy guys not go to ponds not really. Go really? to the ladies' pond. The ladies pond in Heaven, no peace in the ladies' pond. pond. You know, recording this on the first first real day of spring. It's hot. Thoughts turn inevitably to the heath. There yeah, you go. it's really gorgeous. Do that. Yeah. Um, and also maybe join. It sounds like you could do with a team right now. Maybe join a like a sports team, like a hockey team, football team, rugby team frisbee team with like friends with a with that's a good idea like joining sort of like my friend does like um hi charlotte does um netball on thursday nights where it's regular so that yeah it's like a certainty that you do have to be somewhere this week and even if that's all you achieve that's achievable also there's like a certain like level of guy that like can't get to creepy because what they're into is just like inherently overtakes the energy to be creepy oh D&D. So, like no not D weirdly i think they kind of cross over sometimes oh, really? um um, shout out to Sunil's friends in his D and D group that watch. Hello. Um, no. How much of this podcast is you waving through the perspective? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> A lot of the podcast is her waving to camera, Ivo. Um, no, I just think it's like <laughs> if you want to be around um, different people who you don't think I'm going to creep it to you. Um, any secondhand DVD shop like uh, a sex what? or a fop. And there's a lot of lads in there who just want to watch Blu-ray. And, oh, um, like Warhammer Boys. Yeah. They'd like never they... have the energy. They couldn't care less about you. No, because they, they, they're too busy pointing a different, like, seen it, seen it, seen it, seen it. <laughs> <laughs> Is she not aspiring for a slightly more exciting London life than going to Fox? <laughs> like, a, a, you know, great music shop, obviously. But yeah, but it's nice to have options. It's nice to have Go options. to the pond, go foppy. Yep. Uh, what do you think, Ivo? Uh, I don't... I... I don't think comedy is a bad thing to go to. I know it's very, uh, you know. Not exactly a Darth for, uh, it's certainly got creepy men in it. So. Uh, oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, but maybe go, yeah, maybe go. Just, I'll, I'll, I'll wave at the camera. That one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, we, we got to be more careful, but ultimately we're still getting away with it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, maybe go see a female comedian's show. Um, although, stay away from the back row and the front row. Um, but yeah. Mm, what else is... A musical theatre choir. Ooh. I've, I've no doubt that would be good, but I can't speak from experience. Really? Okay. That's because only, the only men who would be there would be homosexual. Okay. Volunteer at the zoo. Volunteer? You could volunteer, but Jesus, it's a bit depressing if you're feeling down already. That's true. You need something... Um, ooh, dinosaur sculpting classes. Making dinosaur sculptures. Do you know We're really sort of leaning into our sort of just time out, just hammering. Out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I would suggest the London Barbecue School again, but it's bloody booked up to September. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I would say? Although some of the snorts are real and some of them are fake. <laughs> <laughs> but she will try to pan them all off as intentional. <laughs> Not possible. Uh, nothing. Um, that was yeah. No. Okay. Cool. Um. I think we've solved thing, it. Do you, the thing about um creepy men is for a long time I would judge myself quite harshly for how I dealt with them as opposed to being like it's creepy that you're over here in this situation. Yeah. Like I would say things like often you find yourself saying things to get out of a situation like. I have a boyfriend, which is inherently unfeminist. You shouldn't have to say, I shouldn't have to be like, there's already a proprietor of this woman. Like, I shouldn't have to say any of that. But it's very effective in those incredibly, like, misogynistic, patriarchal narratives where they're yeah. like, I'm going to go see if that lady's free. Um, and so I used to be really harsh on myself for not being like, you can just fuck off. Yeah. But often that puts you in more danger and antagonizes a prick. Oh, and yeah. I... And sometimes I just say, like, forgive yourself for doing what you need to do to get out of those situations. Does that make sense? So what are we saying? Just come to Trusty Hogs Live? Obviously. Like, you know, like, if we're, like, like, getting down to the brass tacks of it. Ladies Pond. Trusty, Trusty Hogs Hog Live, Live. And probably tickets to see both of us preview or something. Yeah. And, <laughs> and like, obviously, and join the Patreon because that's, like, another bit of your time so It's a genuine safe space. But, but also. also do, do, um, do your patrons, uh, I mean, it feels like I'm just joining in this uh, massive PR exercise, but do, uh, <laughs> do um, is there any sort of forum where they do uh, meet and communicate with each other? It's a great question. So they get. Um, there is a group. There's Facebook a WhatsApp group, group from Gigless. WhatsApp group. Where they discuss. I think they need a Facebook group, maybe. Or, or a. 
what do young people do? But isn't that where the creepy guys mainly live is on Facebook? Yeah, I think they maybe do. And then just, um, I think join a, I think join a team. A team that expects you to show up at the same time every week is such a fortifying thing, I think. Yeah. And then that leads so quickly to other things. Yeah. I think the, I think the, the terror of going to things completely on one's own, even though it's really great if you can and if you can find a way to do it, you know, in a way that doesn't make you feel stressed. Like, it's one, like, I love going to the cinema on my own. Like, yeah. great times. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I think, even though I don't want you to respond to this, you know, thing of like, I'm nervous, but you're like, oh, the pressure is, you know, a good thing. But like having to make a night out of, you know, th- three or four people, particularly if you don't know each other that well, and having like two activities booked in and then realizing how it does start to flow almost always. Yeah. yeah. Like it's, yeah. I, I, I think that um, that sense of triumph and relief of, uh, of, of something not being, you know, bad because it'll always, it like, it, it, I, I, I've, I, I've spent, it was a while ago now, but I, I did a year abroad and I, when I was 20 and I was just, I just spent so much of it in my room because I was like, oh, it's just, I, you know, it, not, like something will go wrong. Yeah. And that was just like social anxiety and I didn't yeah. have all of this added stress of like worrying about like You can't recognize eyes. it in yourself sometimes. No, but I do just sort of. Just you realize the amount of sort of sort of medium nights out I've had where it, it's been like, yeah, it turned out just you know a few random conversations and a couple of drinks and one even seven out of ten activity, all has created this like memory that I can really like hang quite a lot of stuff on yeah. and yeah. build on. Yeah, I think um so a lot of the women I know play for football teams. Surprise, surprise. And what seems to build up around those <laughs> communities surprise, is... Surprise. Oh, come on, the lesbians the join football yeah, okay. teams. I just couldn't say but it. loads <laughs> of them join having moved from different countries to London or from different cities to London. Yeah. Show up on like training day. The thing is organized. So you don't have to like even really make chat because you're supposed to be doing the activity. Then everyone goes to the pub after. You can go or not go. Then there'll be a match on at the weekend if you want to play. And then... There'll be like somebody's party. And that's suddenly like three offers you've got a week. Life snowballs. If yeah. you, if I think you just quickly we'll just, yeah. we've definitely got to go because we're overrunning. Oh. Um, I'll say this. I think we should just quickly list one activity each that we don't recommend um, as a woman, sort mm. of like alone in London to make friends. Um, canal night walking would be my <laughs> one. Um, Catherine or Ivo? Um, okay, I've got another one. Um, uh, trampoline, all male trampoline class. If you've got big jugs, that's just uh, they're just watching you shake. Um, you, you basically um, made that joke in the last episode. You understand? You've got to drop the the trampoline bit is kind of getting a bit. Okay. Um, how about a cookery class by Nigella Lawson? Because that will just be older men there, um, <laughs> like all fapping off while she beats white. <laughs> That's just all it's going to be. Oh, my tofu <laughs> wieners look so much worse now. I'm going to say don't uh, get into youth politics. Youth politics. There we go. That's it. You deserve better men in your life than that. Okay. The youth politics seem bad, man. Um, I yeah, don't... I would say don't. I don't know where the worst people are. Um, I, you know, pride myself on not being amongst their number. <laughs> um, please. I mean, live can I recommend live music? Yeah, you can recommend you can live recommend music. music. I'm now thinking like, what what genre of music am I going to sort of dunk on as yeah, a place? Yeah, dunk away, baby. I, I think the the kind of the, the kind of men that I'm wary of, and I'm definitely aware that like you know it's the category I'd be in. It's like the beta. I remember reading a very long article about beta male misogyny. Oh and yeah. About how, uh, like men think that that like. In like Peep Show, Peep, it's all the men who think that like Jeremy and Peep Show is the dick, and poor old Mark. Yeah, whereas yeah, Mark yeah. is like Mark hates women so like yep. so much more. Yeah, <laughs> yes. and like there's yep. this whole you know like stratum of society which is men who think that they're not the bad men. Yeah. Oh, oh my, my god, god. they're my they're the hardest ones to talk to for a sustained period of time. Absolutely. Um, and I thought I was saying the audience, the Divine Comedy, or. Uh, no, I, I'm not going to throw the Divine Comedy under the bus, but I'd say that's. I quite, love the Divine Comedy. Quite Anything a the lot men of, that listen to it are very specific. There's quite a lot of indie rock, I think, that's consumed by these these sorts mm-hmm. of men. Right? Okay, like, great. Uh, Go uh, off, Ivo um, Graham. Yeah, you tell them. Um, so I suppose <laughs> the confusion in your face when I supported you there, you were like, "Huh? Why am I? T- what? Why am I? T- why, you know, why, why am I telling people not to come and watch the National?" Um, because, uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> so it's because they're so brilliant. And they, you know, they, hey, they, you, you don't they, get to pick your fan. You're a war your boy. Way. Do you think you pick to have that many Hitler biographies in your audience? <laughs> you get what you get, okay? <laughs> it will pass down from my parents. Well, thank you, Ivo yeah. Graham! Yeah. Yeah. Wait, Ivo Graham, people can see you on Thursdays at 9 p.m. for Taskmaster. They can also find you on Instagram. They can. They can find you on Twitter. Yes, and on tour, maybe. If and that's on okay. tour! Oh, you must go see Ivo on He's tour. He's so good. Which show are you selling at this point, though, Ivo? Because you're finishing one tour and starting another. Yes, it's a bit confusing. I suppose I'll just put all of my eggs in the basket of um, uh, filming my latest show <gasps> at the Bloomsbury Theatre on the no, 12th no, of no. May. That's... I did not know you were doing that. Congratulations. That's we're so... all filming I'm shows, away. That's we, so annoying. No, but I haven't seen I the show. I haven't seen the show. I, I'm, I'm away. That's so annoying. Bloomsbury Theatre, 12th of May. That's all right. Fabulous. Um, everyone I saw the show in, in what, Edinburgh. Filmed? I saw the show in Edinburgh and I absolutely loved it. We had our show. We saw each other's shows on the same day with it a lovely couple so of drinks nice. in between. It was, was so day. nice. It was so nice. Yeah. Except okay, I'm going to watch it when it comes out. Thank you. I don't know where it'll come out, but I hope it there'll will. be some audience. Oh, no. It, it will. It will. It's going to be very Rumours exciting. are swelling around HBO Max. <laughs> what? <laughs> the I'm Yay! Yay! Oh, my God. Look at that list. It's crazy. <laughs> we have so many. Because everyone's been so supportive since we changed to our little, our baby studio. They're obsessed with us. Holy! Sugar Vems. The Sugar Vems, that's nice. Stewie Stewie! <laughs> Can I do the producer list? Thank you so much. Okay, and to our producers, our loyal hogs, you've been here with us from, for so long, apart from people who have just joined us. <laughs> Welcome. We You're thank new. you. Where are you being? Maybe you've thank been you. hanging out in the thank background you. and we, we just haven't known we're about you. We're grateful. So enjoy joining us. It's Richard Bicknell, Elle, Richard Bold, Neil Redmond, Victoria Hutchinson, Emma Walton, Karen and David Bull, Harold Van Dyke, Tim and Dom. Tim and Dom is a classic. Cuties. David Walker, Rachel R., Anthony Conway, Sadie Cushmore, Claire Owen Jones, Jess and Nick, Zoe, Sarah, and Molly. Do you remember when I could do this all in one breath? Yeah, God. This show is we're succeeding. Woohoo! All my lung capacity. Or you're Smoking really. too much. <laughs> my my lung capacity is depleted. Um, Claire Owen Jones, Jess and Nick, Zoe, Sarah, Molly, Raya Fink, Cordelia, Rachel Page, Helen A, Tina Lindsay, Graham Marsh, Amy O'Riordan, Abby Wharf, Key Webb, Matt Sims, Thank Luke you. Bright, Leah, Kate Spencer, May Williams, Tristan, Lizfort, Taranel, <laughs> Chloe, <laughs> Becky Fox. Thank you all so You're much. You're all foxes to us. Am I right in thinking our producers, Tim and Dom, are getting married this week? They are. <gasps> Congratulations to Tim and Dom. I don't know which one's which. I but know. I hope you and... have a nice wedding. Okay, this singing has gone like to a new level and I genuinely am so happy my for you. My mom was here at the week and she told my girlfriend I sing when I'm scared. And I think that's right. By which I mean I sing when I'm around her <gasps> and you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's talk about this on a proper episode. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. <laughs>